Yo, what's good, Broovy Club? I'm doing a $10 PSN and Xbox gift card giveaway. Six lucky Broovy Club slash Broovy Gang members will have a chance to win a code. The way I'm going to pick the winners is by DMing four random Broovy Club slash Broovy Gang members and Xbox slash PS4 code, whatever system you guys have. Also, I will be releasing a Xbox and a PS4 code in a random video. So it's important to watch every video all the way through so make sure to subscribe and have notifications all turned on all you got to do to win a giveaway is click the link in the description or click the link that's in the pinned comment it's going to show you guys how you guys can increase your chances on winning this giveaway yee i just dropped my new song called four flat it's everywhere it's on apple music it's on spotify it's on amazon it's on Tidal, it's on SoundCloud, it's on YouTube, it's everywhere, you feel me? Go grab that, go stream that, you feel me? If you guys rock with your boy, uh, you know, just type in Brian Bryce, 4 Flat, and then you guys gonna find a song, so, uh, thank you guys, bro. What's good, y'all boys and girls? It's your one and only, Sauce Money B, Brian and B Bryce Gaming, and today, I am going to present you guys the 10 rarest point guard builds in this nba 2k20 game you feel me i'm gonna call these builds you know hidden builds because you don't really see them that much in the in the neighborhood people don't really use these builds like that some of the builds i would never use you know um some other builds i think they have pretty cool names and then there's you know some really actually pretty good builds that's in this list all right so now i'm going to introduce you guys to number one number one we're gonna go with defending and shooting we're gonna go with the one that has the most agility all right so you max out a close shot you max out driving layup you basically almost max out everything except standing dunk uh you max out the mid-range shot the three-point shot free throw you make post fade go all the way up to probably like 72 maybe you max out pass accuracy and you max out ball handling you do not do anything to post moves max out perimeter defense max out lateral quickness max out steel for the last one it doesn't really matter where you put it you could just i don't know add it to a post fade or whatever so that gave you 10 finishing badge upgrades 17 shooting badge upgrades 10 playmaking um badge upgrades and 11 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades so now body type body type it doesn't really matter you guys can go with any type of body type you guys want now for the height you can go with six one or six feet i'm gonna go with six feet because uh you get better ball handling and your lateral quickness you know goes up more steals your speed hit 95 acceleration 93 vertical go up when and then your driving layup goes to a 79 you feel me so that's pretty good so i'm gonna go with six feet now for the weight you can go with the lowest weight if you want to to have the highest uh, lateral quickness and the highest acceleration or you could just put your weight to probably 190 you know put some um weight on your character but uh i'm gonna go with 158 so i get plus four on lateral quickness and then i get a 95 acceleration and an 83 vertical now for the wingspan you can go with the shortest wingspan if you if you please you can get a uh, 87 mid-range shot 83 uh three-point shot and an 85 in ball handling which is pretty good and your steel is still up there with an 87 but um you know i'll i'll recommend to keep the wingspan normal you're still gonna make your buckets trust me uh you know i i think it's better to you know have the normal wingspan and the reason why i said to go with the normal wingspan you're already six feet you feel me you're already short already so might as well so now with the takeover you guys can choose any takeover you guys want you guys can go with the lockdown defender which is a good takeover you guys can go with the shot creating takeover which is also good because you can dribble and you can shoot but um you know it really depends on you guys it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna go with shot creating and the very first build that we have created is an all-around two-way you don't really see much uh 2k youtubers you know use an all-around two-way you don't really see this build a lot in the park you feel me so yeah it is a pretty rare build so yeah that's basically rare build number one now let's go to number two all right so for number two we're gonna go with the pure defensive slash rebounding uh you guys go with this physical profile which is the quickest one and you guys you know really athletic 89 vertical 95 speed 95 acceleration very athletic all right guys for this build 
You do not max out everything for finishing. I put the close shot at 77, driving layup at 77, driving dunk at 77, max out the standing dunk to 46, max out post hook to 61, uh, max out mid range shot to 66, max out the three point shot to 51. You have a uh, free throw at 78, post fade at 65, pass accuracy maxed out to 78, ball handle maxed out to 78. Uh, perimeter defense, you know, put a little bit, you know, uh, of a boost to make it a 67. You max out the lateral quickness to 94. You do nothing to steals, do nothing to block. Uh, offensive rebound, you put it at 84. And then defensive rebound, you put it at 87. So you get 22 defensive slash rebound badge upgrades, 8 playmaking badge upgrades, 3 shooting badge upgrades, and 10 finishing badge upgrades. So let's continue. All right, body type doesn't matter. You can make this character 6'3", and um, you guys can also go with the default weight if you want to. You you are you're already very athletic. You feel me? If you want to go at 170 or whatever, but you're you're athletic you, with this build. You feel me? This build is very athletic. You can leave the wingspan at default if you want to, and then for the takeover, you guys have like four takeovers. You guys can go with um playmaking or slashing doesn't really matter you guys can go with playmaking if you guys desire to and then you get a rebounding point you feel me that's that's actually a rare build you do not see people with a rebounding point you feel me so in my opinion i think that's different all right so on to build number three we are going to the defending slash rebounding which is also mixed with finishing so that's where we're gonna go with we go with the first physical profile all right so with the attributes you leave the close shot at 74 driving layup at 74 driving dunk 74 standing dunk max out to 48 you put post hook at 73 uh mid-range shot 67 three-point shot 52 free throw 80 post fade 71 pass accuracy 78 um ball handle 82 we have perimeter defense 86 collateral quickness 83 steal at a uh, 88 you have block at 67 and then defensive rebounding at 60 so you get 19 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades 11 playmaking badge upgrades six shooting badge upgrades and nine finishing badge upgrades so let's go ahead so body type don't really matter we're gonna make this character 6-2 it gets a plus in um acceleration vertical uh ball handling uh lateral quickness steal and driving layup so after that we're gonna make him go with the lowest weight possible which is 165 so we get a high lateral quickness and a high vertical so basically by the end of the if this character hits 99 if you ever do use this character uh you'll have like 99 vertical well close to 99 vertical actually i think you yeah you probably might have like a 99 or a 98 vertical with 99 acceleration and 99 speed that's crazy now for the wingspan we might try to go down a couple notches probably try to get that 86 ball handle which is pretty good you get a 86 ball handle a plus one in mid-range shot let me see if i what happened if i go with 74.9 so we get plus two bit range and then plus two on uh three point shot. So we get a 54, we get 86 ball handle, um, just minus two on our steals and minus three on our blocks. So after that, you guys can go with whatever takeover you guys want. You know, uh, probably we could go with just the lockdown defender, makes more sense. And then this is what you get for build number three. You get a two way tempo pusher. You feel me? I never heard of this build. You feel me? Like every time i go to the neighborhood i never seen somebody with this build this is a unique build all right so for build number four we are going with defending and shooting so for the physical profile we're always going to go with the first physical profile all right so for the finishing close shot you put it at 84 driving layup you put it at 76 driving dunk at 77 standing dunk you could put it at 31 mid-range shot 81 three-point shot 80 free throw 88 Pass accuracy 81. Uh ball handle 78. Defense, you got it at 84. Lateral quickness 83. Uh steal 87. Block 66. And defensive rebounding at 77. So you get 21 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades, 10 playmaking badge upgrades, 15 shooting badge upgrades, and 7 finishing badge upgrades, which is pretty all around. Kind of pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. 
so body type doesn't even matter we're gonna put this guy at the 6-5 position so yeah the block and the defensive rebounding is gonna go way up so this player is way better on defense yes you do uh take a crash on your uh your physicals yeah you're not gonna have that 90 speed anymore acceleration is gonna go down to 88 80 um yeah acceleration and speed are gonna go down to 88 but you always can get that back with gym rat so you're gonna hit 90s anyways and plus when you hit 99 it's gonna have a plus on your uh, physicals anyways so you, you'll be you'll be all right and then uh bar handle do drop to a 75 which is not that bad anyways um mid-range shot you just lose one and uh, driving dunk do take a plus so you get a 78 so you're gonna be able to dunk with and you're, gonna, you're gonna be able to dunk and shoot so that's pretty good so we're gonna try to get our acceleration back by putting it to the lowest weight possible and then you get a plus two on lateral quickness your vertical goes up and your uh acceleration goes plus three so that's pretty good all right so with the wingspan i wanted to go with the normal wingspan but uh it wouldn't give me the name of the the build that i wanted so you're gonna you're gonna actually have to go one nod down so you can get a plus one on ball handling so it could be a 76 and yes you're gonna have to get that negative one in block but you still have a 79 block which is still pretty good and your wingspan is still up there and you get a plus one at the three point shot and the mid range shot which is pretty good so after that you guys can go with any type of takeover you guys want to i'm gonna just go up spot up shooter and then voila you have a two-way three level facilitator tell me have you seen a build like that at the park no all right so for build number five we have the same skill breakdown which is defending and sharpshooting and then we're gonna go with the same physical profile which is uh you know the the fastest the one with the most agility all right guys so with the finishing we go with 77 uh close shot 76 driving layup 77 driving dunk uh mid-range we max it out to 81 max out the three-point shooting to 80 max out free throw to 88 post fade we put that at 70 um my bad 57 pass accuracy we put it at 82 ball and handle 78 we put you know two up for the post moves doesn't really matter is that 31 perimeter defense 84 lateral quickness 83 steel is a 87 block is a 66 and defensive rebounding is a 77 so this gives you 21 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades 11 playmaking badge upgrades 16 shooting badge upgrades and four finishing badge upgrades and now let's continue body type don't matter uh height we're gonna go with 6.5 and look at that look what it does it does the same thing as the last build did um the stats are actually pretty similar if you guys actually think about it um with the weight we go all the way down and with the wingspan this time we leave the wingspan at the default so now we're gonna get the 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 name that uh that i got last time when i was trying to make the build before so here we guys go you guys can go with any uh takeover you guys can go with shot creator uh lockdown doesn't really matter you guys could go with lockdown if you guys want to so um what you get for build number five is a two-way three-point facilitator you feel me not a two-way three-level facilitator you get a two-way three-point facilitator which is you know pretty cool uh i think that's pretty rare all right guys for build number six we are going to go with the pure slasher and then we're gonna go with the fastest um physical profile which is the very first one all right so guys for finishing you guys put driving layup at a 71 shooting you put it at 67 for the mid-range shot three-point shot is 52 free throw is maxed out to 80 uh post fade actually you just max out the whole uh shooting category you feel me and then you, you max out the whole playmaking category and then for defense you max out perimeter defense lateral quickness steal block you put offensive rebound at 52 and defensive rebound at 69 so with the badge upgrades you get one finishing badge upgrade and i know it's kind of weird because we went with the pure slasher you get two oh my bad you get 10 shooting badge upgrades 20 playmaking badge upgrades and 12 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades now let us continue body shape doesn't really matter the height we're gonna go with six four now look at all these pluses across the boards guys the post moves go up uh yeah we take that minus one on ball handling block goes up defensive rebound goes up uh, a lot of things do go up but um speed do take a, a hit 
acceleration takes a hit and vertical takes a hit to get our acceleration back we're gonna go with 175 pounds and then we got our acceleration back and our vertical back and then for the wingspan we are going to go with the lowest wingspan possible so our ball handle goes up post moves goes up but our steel and our block it do go down but our shooting is uh, shooting goes up but it, it doesn't really matter to be honest so here we guys go with the takeover you guys can go with any takeover i'm gonna just go with playmaking and then here we are with offense initiator you feel me and it says similar to oscar robertson russell westbrook and derrick rose so that, that's pretty rare you don't you don't really see people with that um build at the park at all you feel me that's that's a rare ass build all right so for build number seven we're gonna go with the pure defensive slash rebounding once more uh physical profile we're gonna go with the very first so for finishing close shot is gonna be at an 80 driving layup 79 driving dunk 79 standing dunk 46 post hook 61 mid-range shot 66 three-point shot 51 uh, you don't touch free throw post fade pass accuracy is a 78 ball handle 78 post moves 56 interior defense you just put one you just put it up one you feel me uh you get a 46 perimeter defense 77 lateral quickness 94 steel 95 offensive rebound 74 and defensive rebounding at 80 so you get 26 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades 11 playmaking badge upgrades one badge upgrade uh for shooting and 12 finishing badge upgrades and your physicals is just crazy you're just very athletic uh body type doesn't really matter we're gonna go with the default height and then we're gonna go with the lowest weight so that basically put our vertical all the way up there but we lose a lot of strength and for the wingspan we just go down one tick and we get a plus one on bar handle which is a 79 mid range is a 67 and three points so here we guys go uh you guys can go with basically go with the lockdown defender in my opinion I, I would i would go with that with this build so what you guys get is a ball hawk i bet you never seen this build at the neighborhood keeping it a honey you feel me i know y'all ain't see this build in the neighborhood so yeah a ball hawk you feel me this is a very rare build but you know nobody's gonna really use this build like no one's gonna go with this setup people want to be really good on offense or really good on defense or a mixture of both nobody want this build to be honest it's not gonna count all right guys so here we are at build number eight so we're gonna go with the pure playmaking uh skill chart and then for the physical profile we're gonna go with the fastest one all right so for the finishing close shot is gonna be a 72 driving layup is gonna be a 72 driving dunk is gonna be a 72 uh mid-range shot is gonna be maxed out to 80 three-point shot is gonna be maxed out to 75 free throw is gonna be a 85 post fade a 65 pass accuracy is gonna be 87 ball handle is gonna be 95 perimeter defense is gonna be at 75 lateral quickness at 74 steel at 75 block at 58 offensive rebounding at 52 and the def defensive rebounding at 73 so you get 12 defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades 24 playmaking badge upgrades 14 shooting bad badge upgrades and then one finishing badge upgrade so yeah, this actually don't look too bad you feel me this looks almost close to like a what uh, uh a playmaking shot creator low key kind of low key uh, kind of you feel me but playmaking shot creator shoots way better at the three point but um yeah the finishing is kind of almost the same so anyways so yeah this build right here it kind of finishes but not as well so the body shape doesn't really matter uh with the height we're gonna go with six six you feel me we're gonna go with six six with the height that's crazy to our ball handle but our defense is looking is looking pretty good for the blocks and the rebounding yeah we take hits on acceleration and speed but look we're still in the 90s we're still fast you feel me and our shooting only takes a negative one you feel me but driving layup and driving dunk it do go down but with this character you're not really gonna drive in pretty you know, that much anyways so with the weight you guys can go with 180 you feel me which is the lowest weight so you get your acceleration back up there and your vertical and your lateral quickness 
and then for the wingspan we're gonna go with the lowest wingspan possible the lowest wingspan possible so now we have a 92 ball handle uh, a 77 three-point shot 82 mid-range shot so it is looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie this is this bid look like it, you know it could score it could it could score it's gonna be a, a threat on offense so in my opinion i would either go with the playmaking or i would go with the shot creating doesn't really matter it's up to you guys but I think I might go with shot creating. So this is what we get, guys. We get a mid-range playmaker. You feel me? You don't really see mid-range playmakers just walking around in the neighborhood. You don't see them in threes or in pro-am like that. You, you don't see that. You feel me? This is a rare build, like I told you guys. So a mid-range playmaker, it seems like it does have potential to be an actually pretty good build. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's number eight. For number nine, guys, we're going to go with the pure sharp pie chart. And for the physical profile, of course, we're going to go with the quickest one possible. All right, guys, for the finishing, close shot is going to be an 85. Driving layup is going to be a 72. Driving dunk is going to be a 63. Standing dunk is going to be a 39. Post hook, 73. Mid-range shot is going to be a 76. Three-point shot is maxed out to 95. Free throw, 76 post fade is a 94 maxed out pass accuracy is going to be 70 ball handle is going to be 78 post moves is going to be 36 uh interior defense 36 perimeter defense 73 lateral quickness 72 steel is a 75 and block is a 57 so for the badge upgrades you get four defensive slash rebounding badge upgrades five playmaking badge upgrades 22 shooting badge upgrades and nine finishing badge upgrades now onto the body shape it doesn't really matter the height is gonna be 511 so you get a plus one on the mid-range which is gonna make it a 77 uh finishing is just gonna be very terrible but you do have a good close shot and you still can drive and make layups but it's not really going to be that good. Your ball handle do boost up to an 84, which is pretty good. Your speed and your acceleration boost up. Lateral quickness is still boost up. But um, your block and everything else on defense is just going down. So, 5'11". Now, with the weight, you go with the lowest weight possible. So, now you have a 91 acceleration with a 80 lateral quickness, which is, you know, pretty good but uh yeah your character is very short but now for the wingspan you go you guys go with the lowest wingspan possible so now you have that 86 ball handle which is pretty good and that's what you need to speed boost an 86 ball handle and the mid-range shot gets a plus one so it hits 78 so now with the takeover it doesn't really matter you guys can go with the spot up shooter or the shot creator i'm gonna just go with shot creator and this is what we get a deep range shot creator for build number nine now guys it is time for build number 10 which is the last build of this video so uh if you guys made it this far make sure y'all hit this like button make sure y'all subscribe if you guys enjoy the content i've been giving out lately i am 500 away from 100k subscribers so here we guys go make sure you guys sub up for this one build number 10 and this is this build right here is pretty rare i'm not gonna lie now for the last build we're gonna go with the sharp shooting slash defending skill breakdown and with the physical profile we're gonna go with the quickest physical profile you know the fastest one the one with the most agility and guys here we go all right y'all for the close shot it's gonna be a 84 driving layup is gonna be a 76 driving dunk is gonna be a 77 standing dunk is gonna be a 39 mid-range shot is gonna be a 76 three-point shot is going to be a 77 free throw is going to be an 88 post fade a 77 pass accuracy at 82 ball and handle a 78 post moves a 31 perimeter defense 84 lateral quickness 83 steel 87 and block is going to be a 66 so you get 17 defensive slash rebounding badges uh upgrades you get 11 playmaking badge upgrades you get 15 shooting badge upgrades and then you get eight finishing badge upgrades actually what you guys could also do 
you guys could take away from free throw and put it on mid-range shot so mid-range shot could be 77 you guys are going to understand why uh later on so now body shape it doesn't really matter the height we're going to go with 65 so you get a minus one on the mid-range shot as you guys can see uh the speed goes down acceleration goes down vertical goes down but you get a plus one on driving dunk which is good uh plus one on post fade your ball handle go down um negative three so you get a 75 ball handle uh look at the block the block goes crazy so you get a 14 plus on block so that's a 80 blocking rating which is good uh steel is gonna be uh 85 lateral quickness is gonna be 82 yeah you're going to be a little bit slower but i do have that gym rat badge video that's out right now you guys can go check it out learn how to get the gym rat badge and that will give you like a plus three or a plus four on your physical so your speed is going to be a 92 you feel me and then as you increase your overall to a 99 you're gonna add on to your physical so you're gonna be fast regardless you're, you're, you're straight you feel me so yeah six five is the way to go and then um we're gonna put the weight all the way down to 175 to get our acceleration back so we have a 91 acceleration plus we get a boost on um, vertical and then for lateral quickness we get a plus two for lateral quickness so now we have a 84 lateral quickness so for the wingspan we're gonna have to take it all the way down i'm not gonna lie i tried a lot of different methods different ways for the wingspan but i just kept you know i just kept getting different builds and i wasn't getting the build name that i wanted so yeah you're gonna have to sacrifice on the block and the shot contest but when you minimize it to all the way to 77.0 which is the lowest wingspan possible you get a plus three on um ball handle so you get you get basically your ball handle back you feel me you get your ball handle back so it's now a 78 ball handle um you still can play great defense well not great i wouldn't say great because you know great is for like um pure defenders but you still can play really good defense that's what i meant to say you still can play really good defense um you could play make with this build your shooting look it's in the 80s uh you're finishing you can dunk like you can do everything offensively and defensively with this build so yeah you're gonna have to minimize the wingspan that's a sacrifice but here we are guys you guys can go with lockdown defender you guys can go with shot creator spot up shooter playmaker like you got you got a lot except um slasher you feel me? you don't have the slashing takeover but it's whatever so we're gonna go with lockdown defender and this is what we get we get a two-way inside out score now tell me how many people do you know that have this build right here and i'm not gonna lie this build sounds kind of op you feel me two-way inside out score you could shoot the basketball you could drive you could play make and then um you know you can you can do a lot of different things i'm not gonna lie so i'm liking this i'm liking this build right here i'm not gonna lie let me know if you guys have this build in the comment section below that is pretty much it guys for this whole video it did take me a lot of researching it took me a lot of attempts and recreating and creating these builds i'm not gonna lie it took i i've been i've been cooking up this video for a minute i'm not gonna lie but finally i finished recording it can't wait to edit it and then give it to you guys and you know let me know what you guys think in the comment section below by the way guys i have a giveaway that's you know out right now so make sure you guys participate in the giveaway to win a free ten dollar xbox codes or psn codes um just join the the the, the giveaway it's in the link the link is in the comment section and the link is also found in the description so you guys can go check that out um what else do i want to tell you guys 500 away from 100k subscribers so make sure you guys are subbing up letting your friends know about this channel i'm this close bro let me do this i'm trying to hit 100k before 2020 and we're gonna make this thing happen in december bro so um thank you guys for everything broovy club i'm signing out broovy gang broovy.